Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Jessica Stafford-Ewing. Investigations are continuing into a mid-air chopper crash on the Gold Coast. Four people were killed and three were left critically injured when two helicopters collided near SeaWorld. It's believed one was attempting to land while the other was trying to take off. Janie Shearman from the Queensland Ambulance Service says there were 13 patients all up. The minor injuries were mainly glass shrapnel that had uh, come from the impact. The critical injuries, there was, there was a number of injuries, uh, what we call multi-system trauma, which means that there was a lot of impact to the body. Overseas and Ukraine claims a strike on the Russian-held Donetsk province has left hundreds of recruits dead. Ukrainian officials say 400 have been killed. Moscow says it's just over 60. Mourners are filing through the Vatican to pay their respects to former Pope Benedict XVI. Thousands of people have passed through the doors at St Peter's Basilica in Rome, where his body will lie in state until Thursday's funeral. Meantime, soccer fans have been visiting the open coffin of Brazilian football legend Pele lying in the middle of his former stadium in Santos. Tennis star Martina Navratilova has revealed she's been diagnosed with two cancers. The 66-year-old has stage 1 throat and breast cancer, forcing her to cancel her upcoming trip to Melbourne for the Australian Open. She says the diagnosis is serious but fixable. The Czech American champion previously beat breast cancer in 2010. To sport now in the Big Bash League, the Hobart Hurricanes defeated the Adelaide Strikers by seven wickets and today's match at the MCG sees the Melbourne Renegades take on the Melbourne Stars. And to the United Cup, Alex Di Menor has given Australia a 1-0 lead over Spain with his first home win over Rafael Nadal in Sydney. The Aussie says it was a dream come true. I couldn't be happier that I were managed to get my first win over Rafa on this court in front of you guys. I knew it was going to be a battle. Rafa's a hell of a competitor and I'm just honoured and, you know, it's a dream come true. In entertainment news, Prince Harry has extended an olive branch to his family while promoting his upcoming memoir, Spare. The Duke of Sussex telling UK's ITV he wants his father and brother back in his life. Never needed to be this way. The leaking and the planting... I want a family, not an institution. They feel as though it's better to keep us somehow as the villains. They've shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. I would like to get my father back. I would like to have my brother back. And actor Jeremy Renner has been rushed to hospital after a snow ploughing incident. A rep for the actor says he's in a critical but stable condition with family by his side. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Update. 